Hello everybody, Yelsa Farmer here and welcome to a new map. This is a map for all platforms. This is called the Estancia Sao Carlos map by DH Modding. It's 122 megabyte to download. It is a South Brazilian map. It has some really nice and big fields, uh, but it also have what I think is the smallest fields I've ever seen on a map. <laughs> and but that's a, a, they are really small. Uh, but anyway, uh, the map itself looks like this. It has 26 fields on it. These areas outside here, those are not arable fields. It's only these in the middle here. And as you can see, you have some big chunky fields here. Uh, you start with field number seven and a farmyard over here. You have chickens, you have sheep, you have a water tower and a fuel station. Um, there are also one other farm down here, which you can buy together with field 17 for 605,000. And on this, and when you buy this one, you will also get a secondary sleep trigger. Plus some sheds, a bunker silo. Uh, there are cell points. There are also factories. Uh, actually, a lot of factories planted uh, already. And uh, yeah, these guys here, you can buy these small pieces of lands. You know, if you want to start from scratch or farm manager, uh, you can start with these small plots. And these guys here are actually fields. These three little dots here, which you can buy uh, if you want to start really small. <laughs> uh, the biogas plant, you cannot buy. Well, correct me. You can buy the biogas plant. You just can't buy the area itself. You can go into the biogas plant like so, and you can go in here, bam, and buy it for 800,000. This will take your, yeah, what did I say? Uh, it will also take sugar key cut beet, sugar beet cut. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, and it will take silage, uh, manure, and slurry, and yeah, sugar beet cut. Uh, what else is on the map? Uh, yeah, you have sawmill. There is also a lime point, a buy point down here. Uh, I thought it was for free, so I had to test it. But I filled up a trailer and I paid like a thousand for eight thousand liters. So it's pretty cheap lime. Uh, animal dealer. You also have the, yeah, you have sawmill and you have three like main cell points, which are called warehouse, warehouse one, two, and three. Uh, there are no trains on this one. Uh, there are some chunks with forestry, but these kind of trees in these forestry areas are, yeah, not that great. <laughs> to do forestry let's just put it like that they are you know typically uh, south american uh, trees like these so not too easy to get your head around uh but yeah you oh it doesn't want to open for me uh when you start on the you know there we go yeah so your farm truck is already here on the shop where you also have your workshop shop trigger uh, this is also the reset point so if you are colliding or ending up in <laughs> in a difficult situation that's your uh, reset point uh, first thing here this is the supermarket or the mercado ooh, ooh, ooh. and over here we have three uh, process units or factories this is the grape factory this is the bakery and yeah this seems like a mod there are also some uh, modded placeables on this one this is the carpentry which is pretty neat actually inside here you have you know 
some wheel furniture. Uh, there's also collectibles on this map. There are ten collectibles. I've only, well, I've only, I haven't looked for any, but I've come over one, I think, one collectible, and that was two thousand, I think it is. Yeah. And over here we are at the sawmill. These guys also. This uh, I finally found out what this is. <laughs> I did a mistake on the last map tour. I thought this was a cell point for wood chips, but this is uh, <clears throat> this is a place where you take wood chip out. This is for getting you know if you buy this uh, sawmill here. If you go into here and buy it, bam, for 140,000, you know, you will get um, planks and then you also will get uh, wood chips as a byproduct. You also have a cell point for logs over here. And this area here is probably the spawn point for pallets with planks. This is the cell wood. So where are we? Well, what we did, we just went up from the shop there, past the fuel station and the supermarket and the tree factories. And yeah, look, <laughs> let's have a look at these uh, really small fields. You know, if you want to start really small, you can buy this area here. Oh, this looks like the farmhouse I have. Maybe if we buy it, we get the sleep trigger here. You know what? Let's uh, let's buy this. No, this one. Uh, no, you don't get a sleep trigger. Uh, but you will do that over here. So what I'm going to do now, uh, let's see. I'm going to drive back to the farm area. And you can see more an overview of the landscape. Uh, it's typically uh, South American style, so to speak, with big open fields. Uh, on FS19, on these kind of maps, you had like really bumpy fields. Ooh. Uh, on these, this map, it seems pretty straight and nice, evenly fields, so to speak. I, I don't know what these guys are. Uh, these guys suck. <laughs> I don't think it's the entrance to the field, but yeah. Maybe it's a bus stop. I don't know. Uh, traffic, yeah. Yeah, yeah, traffic is... But the road system is... There's actually two main roads. One going east-west and one going south-north-south. But you also have roads in between um, the fields. There are some fences scattered around. Let's see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, don't. <laughs> I've been to Brazil a couple of times, and both of the times I've come over really bad car accidents. So, yeah, you better drive <laughs> carefully here. <laughs> So here we're coming into uh, our main farm area and these are the only type of trees you can actually do some logging with. I know that these palm trees you can also cut down. But anyway, this is the farm area where it's big open space. Um, you got your uh, sleep trigger and house here. Bam. And you got the wardrobe just over here. Boop. And you have two animal pens. You have chickens. 200 chickens. And those will spawn. You know. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, all over the place. <laughs> the mesh system for the chickens are all over the place. Uh, this one here is for what I think it is, a spawn point for wool pallets. Uh, you also got, 
ships, 60 ships. You know, do I have the money for it? Yeah, let's buy it. Uh, but you can also demolish these ones. And you can, uh, you can demolish and you can, you know, get rid of everything here. So, yeah, maybe we should go in to check uh, equipment and slot count. Uh, not that one. Uh, there we go. So, slot count on new farmer is 860. Um, I sold everything. I sold uh, all the equipment, all the vehicles, and all the sheds, even the farmhouse you can sell. You can get rid of the sleep trigger if you want. And then I got it down to 701. And the next step, step I did, I did buy this area here. And when you buy this one, you will also get cows and you will get a second sleep trigger. So I did that and then I sold or demolished everything here. And then I got the slot count down to 613. If you start this on farm manager, the slot count will be 707. Uh, you don't have any land, you don't have any equipment but you have the farm truck you have the car so if you sell that one you will get down to 701 uh, but yeah what do you start with small tractors a new holland t6 you have two medium tractors a valtra and a massive ferguson you have a pretty nice john Deere harvester 10,000 liter capacity uh, the truck you have two trailers, two multi-fruit trailers. There are no custom crops on this one. Uh, two headers, one grain and one uh, corn header. And you got a plow, disc harrow, a planter. Uh, you don't have a seeder, you only have a planter. You have a fertilizer herbicide spreader, a fertilizer solid fertilizer spreader. This one is pretty nice. Uh, a water tanker, this will only do water, yeah. A header trailer and some weights. Now when it comes to mods, um, you have different kind of mods, which I think is pretty nice. First of all, uh, sheds. These three last sheds here are the same, which are on the map. So yeah, that's pretty neat to have. And you also have, let's see, farmhouses. It's also modded. And what I really like about FS22 is that uh, these ones are not required to download the, the map. You know, on FS19, you had to download, you know, if there were a modded shed or an animal pen. But on FS22, it's included more or less <laughs> uh, animal pens you have the same animal pens as you have on the map from before so to speak so this is the cow pasture which is also down on the other farm it's really big as you can see the fence system <laughs> so this will hold uh, 80 cows you also have the sheep one and chickens i think it was yeah this one the open chicken pasture 200 chickens uh do, 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 do production as i said there is a bakery here which i never seen before but i don't see it inside the factories and uh, not on the cell points either uh, I didn't find any mod or, yeah, under vehicles or tools. Uh, other things on the farm here, you have a water point, a fuel station. The fuel station, it's empty, so you just have to fill it up. Go in here, bam, and you can fill it up with 10,000 liters or one or two, 10 liters. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, let's see, now we are here at our farm, 
I'm going to drive whoop, down here. We're going to drive uh, towards the cell points. And then I'm going to head into this farm area. And I might, you know, might just uh, lure in some money. And you know what? Uh, can we go down here? No, no, don't, don't, don't take any shortcuts. So yeah, but it's, I like it. It's uh, big fields, big open fields. The landscape terrain is pretty nice. Uh, contracts are available. Uh, what else uh, about my notes? Uh, uh, do, 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 yeah, the line point. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get easy there, buddy. Uh, and yeah, I can show you one of the collectibles. Well, the the one and only collectible I have found is just over here. I don't know if you get like a bonus for collecting all of them. Uh, but inside here. I don't know how I found it, but yeah, there we go. So here we got a tractor. Listen to this. There we go. 2,009 more tractors to collect. So it could be that you're getting like a bonus for collecting all. I don't know. So yeah, this, this is the biggest field which we are driving past now. And I'm gonna, yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, so on the right there, uh, we got a cell point for bales. And the next cell point there is one of the main cell points, which is called, I think this is warehouse number two. Let's check it out. Yeah, warehouse two. Uh, there are cell points for more or less everything. Uh, not just your normal crop types, but also the um, production things, you know, like cake, bread, flour, butter, fabric. You know, you have sell point for everything. And that's pretty nice. So then you don't need to start with placing sell points. There we go. Uh, so yeah, now I think I'm gonna head over to the farm. Let's see, where did I go? We are down here. Yeah, so I need to go just around the corner here. And yeah, let's buy that farm. I, I think I need to sell, sell some equipment. <laughs> yeah, you know, I never played, I never had a let's play on a South American Brazilian map before. And I'm soon getting to an end on Carmson Farm, so yeah, maybe if there is a challenge coming up on this one. So this is the other farm area. So I'm gonna sell something now to get enough money for this and I'll see you in a bit so there we go I've sold more or less all my equipment uh, let's jump into here and let's uh, buy this one and now you can see you suddenly have cows you have a water point and also a farmhouse oh so now you have two sleep triggers and yeah, I don't know why this is how this is possible, but every time I do a map tour on a South American map like this, uh, you always, well, not always, but these are the kind of maps where you can have two sleep uh, triggers. And as I said, if you go into here now, you can go ahead, you know, if you want some extra money and extra slots, you can go ahead and sell all of these, like so. And you can get the slot count all the way down to 
613. I didn't actually do that on farm manager. So on farm manager, if you do the same, you can probably get it even further down. Uh, cows, 80 cows. And they do need water. Oh, oh, oh. let's uh, let's buy a cow or oh, 60. <laughs> let's check. Do they need water? It seems like it. Let's see. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. They need water, not just uh, food and be oh, do they need? No, they don't need bedding. Oh, okay. So, most likely then, they will not produce any uh, manure or slurry. I don't have any graphs for manure and slurry. Uh, it could be that you need to put out one of these uh, manure heap extensions, but uh, as long as you don't give them straw, I don't think you're gonna get any manure out of these guys. But anyway, anywho, uh, and I like these farm areas, they are big, open, and flat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, now we are down here on the map and next thing I'm going to drive down to the lime station and animal dealer and yeah, that, there's also an area which uh, you know could be a really nice starting point if you want to start from scratch or on farm manager. <laughs> there are some bumpy roads. Oh, a jump, a jump. And, whoa, and that's over here. This uh, area we are looking at now, this is like uh, the sorted area with a small water pound. I haven't tried to drive into it. Uh, we're probably going to get the warning. Yeah, it's too deep. <laughs> But this area here, uh, it's this land here, which is 241,000 to buy. Yeah, did we say field prices? The biggest one here is like 1.6 million. And the smallest one, like I said, are these guys. But you also have these with around three to 400,000. You can also sell your main farm area and the field for 417. So yeah, it's a lot of options here, a lot of a lot of points and fields where you can start. Uh, so this is a cell point called oh what was it again the warehouse? No, the cooperative. And over here we have the animal dealer, a lime station, and debris crusher. I also did test the debris cr crusher. And yeah, I put a load of stones in it. Um, I only got paid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not good enough. <laughs> So this is the e standard in-game uh, stone crusher. You don't get any lime out of it, uh, but you will get paid. And as I said, this is the big lime station, which, uh, what did I say? I did use the first trailer, this one. Uh, how much is this? Yeah, 8,000 liter. So I paid 900 for 8,000 liter and I found out it's, yeah, it's cheaper than buying lime in big bags. So yeah, uh, let's check here, let's check my notes here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I don't think there was anything more to mention. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So mill, yeah, the milk. Um, yeah, I think that was it actually. The Estancia Sao Carlos map by DH Mudding. 
There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so <laughs> with that flip, uh, I'm going to thank you for watching. And yeah, I'll uh, hope to see you next time. And yeah, happy farming, guys and girls. And have a great day. Bye-bye.